hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm in my pj because it's past 11 almost 12 midnight and uh, i just remembered i haven't made my baby's food and it's finished and i said let me take you guys along because there are new moms here moms who have not had children before that are pregnant that will be wondering what food can i give my children there are so many options out there and everybody will say no give this one give that one but personally i give them pap akamu oji natural food because they have so many nutrients uh, today i'm going to be making millet pap for my babies for my little baby eliana and her brother elijah so so let me take you guys along so let me tell you the benefits of millet and guinea millet has fiber it's gluten free it has high levels of protein it has iron it has all the b vitamins are inside it has phosphorus it has potassium calcium all the nutrients are in this food but a lot of women a lot of new moms or moms think it's only starch it's only energy giving food it doesn't have anything inside when i go for antenatal in the public places with my children i remove my pap and i'm feeding and people think it's because maybe i don't have money i can't afford the sma the serilac and all that you cannot compare serilac or any other store-bought food with this pap this millet corn and guinea corn food that you make it yourself people don't know you can go do research and you'll be surprised with how much this food is food for these children so i'll be taking you along with me on how i make it so come with me let me go get my millet and bring it to you So this is my millet i measured 40 cups of this condensed milk and i poured inside this bowl so we are going to be weighing it together on my weighing machine so that we'll know how many kilograms that will give us this is millet so let's wait and see how many kilograms it's going to give us so this is 6.88 kilograms so let's say we are minus in the bowl so let's dash the bowl 88 eight. I say the millet is weighing six kilograms and I measured 40 cups and this will take us for about two weeks and that's because she's taking it with her brother if not her alone would take this for like a month so we are going to be washing it now so i'll be showing you the washing process The impurities the ones that don't have weight you're going to pack them and dispose them so I'm going to dispose these ones so I've drained my water now i'm going to add new one to leave it overnight i'm sorry about the background noise my son doesn't sleep on time so he's watching cartoon that's why there's so much noise but i begged him to turn it down right now so i'm going to add this water you usually allow the water to be above the millet or the guinea corn or the corn whichever one you're going the grain you're going to use so tomorrow because i don't have a grinder at home tomorrow i'll take you to the market i usually take you to the market for grinding so i'll take you guys along tomorrow for grinding and then filtering and everything so thank you see you guys tomorrow good night
three hours later actually more than three hours because we went to have our dinner and this is the paste as you can see it's now pasty and um, let me show you this tea it's water down here so i'm going to just turn it here and then now i'll open it and then i'm going to feed this yogurt bowls they are my son's uh, yogurt bowls so i just hold them to these purposes so i'll fill them here and keep in the freezer so that it doesn't go bad i've washed my hands and it because it's my baby's food so i'm going to use my hands to scoop it and then fill it here to avoid packing it on a spoon to make it messy everywhere like this i'll fill it and then level it up myself so guys i hope you enjoyed the video we have seven bowls in our pap for each bowl we do we take for three days once i prepare one bowl like this for her she takes for a period of three days and then we are going to be taking this seven <laughs> so that should be more than two weeks and before we say okay let's make another one i hope this helps someone and comment down below if it made sense if you have questions so that i can answer your questions and if you're a new mom you're looking for which food to give your child whether it's healthy or nutritious you can make pap like this for your babies and this is just part one of this video i'm going to be making a part two which i'll show you how to prepare this and then how to make it in a dry form for mothers who are busy for traveling and for working mom so don't forget to subscribe turn on post notification i'll see you again in my next video bye